and it turned out that God used that or something they said or then you can speak into their lives and you can believe things. Thank you, Lord, for the beautiful sense of your presence that's here tonight, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that, Lord, even though we might come tired or a little downcast, Lord, just a few moments in your presence, oh God, lights us up, oh God, and encourages our hearts, God, and straightens our back and lifts our heads, oh God, in everything that you do. And Father, right now we want to worship you in our giving. We ask that you bless this offering, oh God, and multiply it for the furtherance of your kingdom. Lord, we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Ushers, you may come and collect our tithes and offerings. I'm going to ask Brother James to come on up. He's uh, got a word for us tonight, and we're looking forward to see what God wants to say tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Holy. Now, we just got through talking about raising a hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. The Bible said, let the dead bury the dead. Ain't that what it said? That's what it I live, move, and am an example of God's grace and mercy. I am an ambassador for Christ. Wasn't fit to live and sure wasn't ready to die. But Jesus, y'all better get this if you don't get nothing else, saw fit to take this unworthy vessel and said, I'll raise a hallelujah with everything that's in me. I'll raise a hallelujah. Because it's all about him. It's all about him. Y'all waiting on the word, but the word just was all before you just now. I ain't going to be before you long. I'm going to try to share with this here, but when, when it came with that like that, my God, but my, my, I do have a word. Uh, I'm going to try to do a passage for it. And it's called... Discover what the name can do. We all have names, and uh, your name implies much more than an identity. That's what we think our name is just to identify us. Pastor Joy Vasquez, James Chapman. But you know what? Your name also carries with it authority, a reputation, and power. When somebody says, can I use your name, Pastor Joy, can I use your name? First thing you, you should say is, you hope his name is worthy to be used. If you receive an order from the president, like Trump give you an order, you're obligated to obey, right? But if I issue out some orders, you can walk away and do nothing. Why? Because my name carries no weight or authority. So right now, we're going to take a little trip. We're going to go on a little journey. We're going to talk about the name of Jesus and discover what, what it does, what it says, what it can do. Let's go to the Book of Acts, chapter 3, verses 1 through 10. And I'll read. Is it up there? Now, Peter and John went up together to the temple of the hour, at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful, to ask, to ask alms from those who entered the temple, who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. And fixing his eyes on him, 
with John, Peter said, look at us. So here we go. He gave them his attention, expecting to receive something from them. Then Peter said, silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankles, bones received strength. So he leaping up stood and walked and entered the temple with them, walking, leaping, and praising God. All the people saw him walking and praising God. Then they knew that he was who he was, sitting and begging arms by the gate, beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. Let's back up, but this seems like us. Let's go to verse 4. You can keep that up there. And fixing his eyes on him, he said, look at us. So he gave them his attention, expected to receive something. That sounds just like us. We give our attention always expecting something for nothing. <laughs> this man had a need. His need is, he was lame. But what he was asking for, he didn't need. He wanted some arms. Put me in mind when I go uh, uh, through the tunnel when I see these guys, because I got one of them that ride with me. Uh, uh, um, I call them perpetrators, posers. <laughs> they go and sit in these things, they handicap and have their little thing, getting this money. I put uh, this lame man that's sort of like that trying to get something for nothing. But on this particular day, because it said in, in the, in the, at the gate, this was the east gate too, because there was a lot of gates. It was a lot of people. It was a lot of beggars. Let me show you something. It was a lot of beggars. A lot of beggars was there. But this particular day, in this particular time, God had a purpose. God had a plan, and it was fulfilled with this uh, scripture, Isaiah 55 and 8, which says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says who? The Lord. I say that because with all of the beggars that were there, God chose this one particular man. He chose him because God made sure, because when he came to Peter and John, guess what? They didn't have no money no way. They had just given their money uh, uh, to the churches they was with. Everybody gave everything, and they shared it with each other, so they were broke. But guess what? God had a purpose for what he was doing. One, the purpose was so that he can get the glory. Two, they, he, he, he made sure that Peter and, and, and John couldn't get any of it because they were broke. But in the midst of all of that, God met the need of the man. What was his need? Lame. He was lame. So God, because it said then Peter stood up and, 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 and told him, look at us. This is the one time him and John wasn't even arguing with each other because they were very competitive. They always were arguing with each other. But he said, look at us. And he got all happy because he thought, oh, he's going to give me some arms. He said, silver and gold, I have not. He said, but that what I do have, I give to you. And that that he gave him was the word from the power of God, of the Holy Spirit that was working in, in him. And he said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Stand up and walk. That's power, people. That's power. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand up and walk. 
I got to keep my eyes on because I'm sweating. You can't see. Thank you. So we're going to look at some different things about the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus would cause mm. the name of Jesus got the man just what he needed. Just what he needed. According to Acts 3, 16, it says, and his name through faith in his name has made this man strong whom you see and know. Yes, the faith which comes through him was given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. Now, look at this. When the man got up, his knees and his feet got strong. And guess what? Usually when we break some ball or we have infirmities or, or, or and things like that in the hospital, you have to go through physical therapy. God is so complete. The name of Jesus is so complete that when this man, when they called on the name of Jesus, he was able to get up and walk. Not only was he able to get up and walk, he got up and started leaping and praising God. Complete healing. I'm going to share this with you. My left leg... I got a titanium in it. When I had the surgery, I can relate to the man. Because when I had the surgery, I could not walk at all. I was like a baby. I had to learn how to walk. I was pulling myself along. I had to learn how to walk. But to the amazement of this, God's word, the name of Jesus is so powerful that just the name of Jesus completely healed this man. He was able to stand up, walk, and praise God. Amen. Stand up, walk, and pray. Didn't go through no physical therapy. Listen, I went through six months of physical therapy. Y'all see me walking around here now. I'm walking slow, but I'm show. <laughs> but I wasn't even show then. I wasn't even sure, was, was sitting there and, 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 and constantly going to physical therapists every day. But this is amazing on how the word, the name of Jesus heals like it does. The name of Jesus is so potent and so powerful that just as it left the lips of, of, of Peter, it came and went through the man and reorganized all his bone structure and told the skeletal system, get in line. The name of Jesus is just that pop. Get in line, straighten up. So they can see who I am. And even after that, after that, the people got mad. They, they locked up Peter and, 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 and John. Locked them up. Locked them up for nothing. <laughs> because the name of Jesus will cause persecution. Yes, it will. It'll call persecution. In Acts chapter 4, verses 6 and 12, reads as such. As well as Ananias and the high priest, Colossus, John, and Alexander, and as many as were of the family of the high priest were gathered together in Jerusalem, and when they had set them in the midst, they asked, by what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Hold it, wait a minute. Rulers of, of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day are judged for a good deed done to a helpless man, by what means he has been made well? Let it be known to you. Hey, it, 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 I'm going to rephrase it. Let me tell you something. 
And to all the people of Israel, I want y'all to know, this is from the book of James Chapman. <laughs> I want all y'all to know that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him this man stands here before you. Y'all don't see that. Stands before you half. Stands before you three-fourths. He stands before you whole. Stands before you whole. Hmm. Wow. Thank you, Lord. This is the stone which was rejected by the you builders, which has become the chief cornerstone. Nor is there salvation, here we go, in any other. <laughs> For there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. No other name. No other name. Here, right here, it's showing us the song. All the others' names fade away. All other names. Doubt, fear, depression, bankruptcy, sickness. All the other names fade away. Why? Because the name of Jesus can heal. The name of Jesus, because he, his name is, is Jehovah Rapha. And Jehovah Rapha is the God that healed. His name is the name that we send for to win it. His name is the name. The same name when the centurion soldiers were standing outside and spoke to Jesus and told him, he said, I'm a man of authority. He said, my house is jacked up from the floor up. I don't want you to come to my house. My house jacked up. Jesus, my house jacked up. But I've heard and I've known and I've heard that. If you just sent a word, send your word, and your word is your name, the, she will be healed. Saints of God, he's saying the same thing. The name of Jesus is still the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Yesterday, today, and forever. Mm. Yesterday, today, and forever. But look at look at Peter. He he spoke up, and then Jesus answered him. He answered him in Matthew five. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteous sake, mm. for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you. And say all kinds of evil against you falsely. That's what I like. Because I told my kids a long time ago, and I, and I say it again, I live by that. A lie cannot stand. A lie cannot stand. I don't care who said it. A lie cannot stand. And the thing what I love about it, we don't even have to fight. Because it said, if you hold your peace and let the Lord fight your battle. And I'm finding that out, people of God, that is so, so true. All you have to do is stand on the name of Jesus, the keeper, the strength of our life, and watch him work if we give it to his hand. Because in my finish, my last scripture is, is Philippians Chapter 2, verses 9 and 11, you should all know this. Therefore God has highly exhorted him, who is him? Jesus. And given him, Jesus, the name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Of those in heaven and those on earth. And those under the earth and every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. All the other names mean nothing. But the name of Jesus 
is everything. I got one more closing remark right here. And then I'll be finished. Once you make up your mind to keep the commands of Jesus and begin to allow the word to dwell in you richly, the name of Jesus will become far more powerful to you. It will become more than just a word. It will become a force that will cause every circumstance in your life and every demon that tries to stand in your way to bow its knee to your command. I tell you the name of Jesus works, people. There is a far greater power in it than any of us have yet even realized. <clears throat> My faith is set on the authority of the name of Jesus that there are times just say, in the name of Jesus, sometimes that's all you can say, in the name of Jesus. And it works. In fact, I've even discovered that the name of Jesus alone is effective even because it says in Revelation 19, 13, I didn't even put that up there, that the, um, the name of Jesus is the word of God. So when the, evil, for when the evil spirits are trying to come against you, people of God, and you don't understand what's going on, just discover what the name can do for you and apply it to your life and see what God's plan is for you and see, and see what he has for you. Because I do know this, the blessing of the Lord make it rich and don't have no sorrow. But I do know this also that the name of Jesus is the most powerful name on the face of the earth. The name of Jesus works every time. The name of Jesus takes care of Every need you got. I wanted a lot of things, but I didn't get them. But I can say this, because I say a lot can't stand in Jesus, and God hear me. Every need I had, God met it. Every need I had, yes. he met. Yes. I didn't get everything I wanted, because some of the things, because my mind's all messed up, I didn't need in the first place. But every need... When it was a need to die straight when you're in that ninth hour and you can't see a way and you don't know what's going to happen. I experienced even that when I went to Chicago. I saw the power of God move when I couldn't do nothing. I got stretched. I told Pastor Joy, Stretch Armstrong didn't have nothing on me when I went to Chicago to bury my mama. And it hurt me because my, my brothers and sisters turned against me about our mother. But my mother told me before she died, she said, you can do it. I cried. I told her I didn't want to be bothered with it. Went down there and they stretched me. You know, they say the word had to be proven. Every word you had to be proven, Pastor Joy, every word I, that was in me had to be proven. They was stretching. <laughs> but in the onset of it, the name of Jesus showed up, strengthened me, power of God moved, favor of God moved. Every need that I needed, God met it. Every need. And he's the same God for each one of us. Try him. Try him in your life. I don't care what circumstance is going on. It's not greater than the name of Jesus. I dare you, I, I challenge you to go and take that circumstance, whatever seem, it may seem, no matter how cloudy it may seem, no matter, even because you can't understand, it ain't for us to understand everything anyway, because I just told you, God say his thoughts, our thoughts is not his thoughts. He has a plan for every one of us. Give it to him. Watch it work. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. You know, um, I, I want to just uh, just reiterate about that name that Brother James was talking about. Um, I had a family member who, uh, well, the husband of this family member called me. And uh, this family member had involved herself with a lot of darkness and a lot of... Um, 
dark forces just in a lot of her life. And she started going to church with her husband. And he received the Lord, and we thought she did as well. But soon after, she started manifesting in the house another spirit in her. And the husband, being a brand-new Christian, didn't know what to do. I'm just telling you family stuff here. And so he called me up, and he told me, I don't know what to do. And I can hear the voice of my family member, and it wasn't her voice, okay? And I said, how are you praying? He goes, in the name of God, in the name of God, in the name of God, he was saying. And I said, no, 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 no. Don't say in the name of God because there are a lot of gods, a lot of false gods. What God are you praying to? I said, pray in the name of Jesus. In fact, do it now while I'm on the phone. And I started praying, and he says, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, come out. And guess what? She was healed that day. Today she's serving Christ completely healed from that evil spirit. Now, let me bring it closer to home, okay? Can I be transparent with you? Can I be transparent with you? You know, this, um, this weekend, uh, my son, my youngest son got married. A lot of emotions there, right? And uh, we were... I was expecting my family to be uh, here, you know, to celebrate. And uh, I got a call the night before that uh, my, it was from my sister that she had to rush my dad to the hospital. She sent me a picture of him, and his face had drooped. We thought he had had a stroke. And so... Uh, she took him to the hospital. Thank God it was not a stroke. It, it, stroke. it was a, an infection around his eyeball. And the danger is that if it gets in the eye, it goes to the brain, and that's it. So long story short, my dad couldn't come. My sister couldn't come. My brother-in-law couldn't come. My... Uh, my wife's mom, who lives with us, uh, a week before, wound up in a hospital and is now on oxygen, so she couldn't come. So, you know, the day came. It was a glorious day, those of you that were here and celebrated with us. But there was a lot of things going on in the background and some other stuff that I'm not saying. And so, by the time I got home on Sunday night, Every part of my body hurt. My eyeballs hurt. My eyebrows hurt. And I, as tired as I was, I got up in the middle of the night. It was, I don't know, 2 o'clock in the morning, and I couldn't go back to sleep. And all of a sudden, this wave of sadness came over me. It was a dark, dark cloud of sadness that came over me. I don't know if it was anything specific, but I just started, I didn't want to wake up Missy, but I was just weeping, and I didn't, so what did I do, brother? I called on the name. I, call, I started calling on the name of Jesus. Jesus, 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 my heart is sad. Jesus, my heart is weighed down. And I put on some earphones and praise music. You know, I've counseled some of you here. And when you're going through something and I say, hey, here's what you do. You praise God and you call on the name of Jesus. You know why I tell you that? Because that's what I have to do. Listen, we're all in the same boat. There's nobody exempt from life. Have you noticed that? What our brother was telling you is better than gold. And many people don't think about it. Many Christians don't think of what to do 
when the rubber hits the road. But I'm telling you, no matter what it is, learn about the power of the name of Jesus. God gave us that name. He said that name is above every other name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen? I'm so happy for that name. God gave you the name of Jesus. You know what? When you're having a good time, thank Jesus and praise the name of Jesus. When things are so-so, men's the men's, praise the name of Jesus. When you're having a hard time, call on the name of Jesus. When the bottom falls out, cry out the name of Jesus. At every moment, he's as close as as his name. Did you know when you call on Jesus, you don't have to wait for him to come. He's right there. He's right there. And what it's doing, it's reminding you of who lives in you. Because we as human beings forget. We live in the physical world. Don't forget that there's a spiritual world. Forget that Christ Jesus lives in us. And you are actually awakening yourself to the knowledge of Christ living in you. And when you mention the name of Jesus, he's right there and he makes himself known. Whatever it is that you need. I was praying for the Lord to give me his joy back. And I want Satan stealing my joy. Jesus, give me my joy back. Someone's trying to steal it. And we're not having that because I have the name of Jesus. Amen. He is so faithful. Could you bow your heads? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, if, you, if you're going through a real tough time, would you stand to your feet? Nobody's looking around. I just want to pray for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't go through something and stay sitting down. Hallelujah. Let me pray. Dear Lord and Heavenly Father, God, you see your children, God. Lord, by standing up, they're saying, Lord, I need you. 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 Jesus, I need you. Jesus, I need you. Jesus, I need you. But Lord, even as they breathe out your name, oh God, you're right on the scene, oh God. You're right on the scene, and there's nothing, Lord God, that you cannot do. There's nothing impossible for you. Father, there's nothing that you, Lord God, wouldn't give us that we need, oh God. What father, Lord God, would not give their child what they need? God, if we know how to do that as, Lord, uh, uh, save sinners by your grace, how much more you, Lord God. I pray, Father that, Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, God, you would meet each person at their need. Lord God, here's the thing. I don't know, God, what each of my brothers and sisters are going through right now, but my heart, oh God, Lord, connects with their heart, oh God. And Lord, if they hurt, then we hurt, oh God. And Father, I pray that that name, like a balm of Gilead, Lord God, if there's healing in that name, all sorts of healing. God, is one thing to heal a broken bone, but to heal a, a heal a broken soul, God, only you can do that, oh God. Father, right now, bring healing, Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Lift burdens in the name of Jesus. Lift heads in the name of Jesus. 
Lord, bring provision in the name of Jesus, God. Lord, move mountains in the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, whatever obstacle is in the way of your children, move them, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. Lord, if we find ourselves in the muck and mire, lift us out in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, if we've gotten stuck, then unstuck us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, whatever the need is, oh God, just like my brother James said, Lord, there's nothing impossible for you. We glorify your name, oh God. We glorify your name, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Right now, Father, things are happening in the spiritual realm, oh God, as we breathe the name of Jesus. If you're standing, just breathe that name. Just say that name. Say, I need you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. As a matter of fact, we all need him. Let's stand and just lift up that name. Hallelujah. Everyone stand in the building. We give you glory, Lord, and honor and praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you glory, Lord. We lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We confess our need as a church, oh God. We confess our needs as individual believers, oh God. We confess our needs as the family of God. Hallelujah. And together we breathe the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Set those, oh God, that have been captivated, set them free in that name, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, teach us. Teach us, oh God. Teach us to run to you, Lord. Teach us to run to you immediately, Lord God. Lord, the minute we begin to feel something or experience something, oh God, or we get that news that we weren't expecting, God, that our reflex reaction, oh God, will be to cry out in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord Jesus. We love you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Let's take a moment, find a partner, agree with somebody about your situation in the name of Jesus. Pray for somebody right now. Let's find a prayer partner. And let's pray for each other in that beautiful name, in the name of Jesus. Call on the name of Jesus over each other. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you glory. 